YouTube, Rez back again here with my good friend Segoba. Uh, the only man I know that loves this Type R so much that he bought it twice. <laughs> we'll, we'll go ahead and I'll let you know the little story about that here in a little bit. But uh, tell me a little bit, why do you like the Type R so much, man? Honestly, I, I, I don't know why. I'm just a little bit of a Honda fan boy. Like, growing up, my, my dad had Civics, my mom had Accords, Odyssey, CRVs, older sister has a CRV. I don't know, I've always just been around Hondas. And, even my price point as I've you know come up, I feel like they always just offer the best value for the things I'm looking for. Best bang for your buck. Yeah, absolutely. You know, some people skip on front wheel drive, but you know, stop an LSD with the right setup, <laughs> it's a great time. All right, all right. And he actually has the new uh, FO5 on uh, order, yes, secured, sir. so uh, hopefully it should be here within a few weeks, hopefully like this week or next week, and then we can do the next like comparison on how he feels about that. But right now we're just gonna go for a quick drive uh, I already, unfortunately, you won't get my first impressions because I already drove it, but it is a lot better than I thought. So, uh, <laughs> we'll go ahead and we'll take it for a spin. We'll look, check out the interior and then get, like, uh, my opinions on it. And then uh, then we'll just leave it for the next one. We can review the FL5 here in hopefully a week. All right, so practicality. Great. Let's get in here. Ugh. Oh, man, it feels good in these seats. Can you hold this for me? Yep. All right, we're gonna start it up here in a second, but it's real nice in here. I sat in it before, the seats hug you tight. That Alcantara steering wheel, really nice. The shift knobs, good. And then you got all that room. You know me, I love hatchbacks. So practical. So let's go ahead and start it. Uh, where's the uh, foot on the clutch? Almost forgot. Oh, sport mode already engaged, look at that. That's yeah, a standard mode. You're in neutral, making sure. Put the windows up because it is cold as fuck outside. <laughs> sure. At least for our standards. And volume knob, you got it. What year is yours again? Uh, 2021. 2021. Last, last model year. Last model year. Not including the limited edition. Yeah, the LE, right? Yep. All right, so we'll probably go for a drive here and uh, I'll have him record. Uh, but it does sound a lot nicer than I thought. He, it's all stock. Uh, he's enjoying it as it is. Uh, smarter man than me because. <laughs> I can't even last like a month without doing something. Let, like, I can't even last a week. So let's go for this drive and then we'll see how everything plays out. All right, so we're back in the car now for the second first impression. <laughs> but this I will actually be the first impression in type and plus R mode is what you guys call it. Yep. All right, so plus R mode, just turned it on and immediately like you can feel like that, uh, that throttle response is like just way up there. Yeah, engine noise too. Yeah, like <laughs> it's definitely very one. responsible or responsible, very responsive. Yeah. <laughs> Unlike me, it's responsible. Is this the way like to the main gate or to Yeah, that's the way to the gate. Okay, then we'll take this way. Alright. So we're gonna take this on ramp and uh, feel the car out a little bit. Hopefully there's not too much traffic. We can get to the speed limit and then cruise. I'll lower the window a little bit so you guys can hear like the real noises. Hopefully the audio is not too bad. I know it's probably like really shitty with the sun beaming down on us right now, but I'll try to get a good shot. You, you can just aim it over here at like the steering wheel. Yeah, maybe. Oh. I don't know. Nah, just aim it back at me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to take this on ramp, get up to speed. Cold. I don't know if you can hear that, but this thing makes like all the right noises for a stock car. We got up to speed. The tires are cold, so I can't blame it on that, but it's got a little wheel hop there. Maybe my fault. I gave it too much gas, but. And notably, no torque steer. Yeah, that's, I remember when this thing first came out, everybody was like, yeah, no torque steer. And like, it's true. We were going straight the whole time, <laughs> even though we hopped a little bit there. But the car is really nice, really responsive. And uh, if you guys are interested, check it out on CarMax. It'll, <laughs> it'll be back on there here in a little bit because he's going to return it. Because like I said, he did buy the car twice. Uh, funny story. Uh, and I'm going to cut to telling you guys that story here in a little bit uh, once we get one more pool here let's drop down a little bit so we're not breaking the law too much i guess out in mexico oh the rev match feature yeah, i forgot just, it was on you can just let it out yeah that was that was weird 
It is a little bit annoying sometimes, he said, but at least you can turn it off. Um, does it matter what mode you're in to, to turn it off? Or no, you just got to be stopped. You just got to be stopped when you do it. All right. So we're going to cut here, and then we'll just uh, do like a quick like little talk on uh, once we get back. All right. So just had the first drive, first, second drive, but the first drive in type or plus R mode. And like I said, really impressed with the car. Um, I love the way these look. I know they were very like kind of like controversial when they first came out and i i think they're awesome um i don't care how many wings it has <laughs> i like all of them so <laughs> i think i think it's good i like being obnoxious like that but yeah so um great car definitely would recommend if you're looking for something that can kind of do everything and you want to kind of stay in the car scene recommend the type r for sure uh, and like i said sagoba here he bought this car twice uh, do you want to tell the story or do you want me to kind of like give the brief uh, down and dirty on it? I guess I could tell it. So I bought it back off of Room, I think, in February of this year. And I sold my Accord to get it. Um, it was a great car. I sold it back in July because I'm like, you know what? The new Type R is coming out soon. I want to get it. Get rid of a car payment. Drive my old Tahoe. It's paid off. And then, you know, I just got so sick and tired of driving a Tahoe because I, I don't like trucks, like, at all. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sedan car guy. So I bought it back because I'm like, all right, well, I'm probably not going to get the Type R for another year or two because who knows how long the deposits and allocations are going to take. But then, you know, he, he was there when it happened. You know, we are just sitting there at work. Somebody made a finder where you can, like, find Type R's that are in transit. Mm -hmm. Saw one in Massachusetts, called a dealer, like, yeah, like, we still have it in stock. And I'm like... What's the markup? They told me the markup. I'm like, you know what? I can afford that. And, uh, oh, wait, I skipped buying this bag, didn't I? Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's backtrack to finding that Type R. So I got tired of driving a Tahoe, so I bought this thing back. I'm like, screw the it. The same car. The same exact car. And funny enough, when I went to go buy it, people were test driving it that day. And we had to wait for this guy to decide not to buy it for me to buy it back. But, you know, luckily for me, CarMax has a return policy, so I'm within the 30 days, 1,500 miles. I'm going to return it, get my, like, 9K back, and just yep. know, put and it towards the new put car. Put it towards the new Type R. Yeah. So, yeah, so he's the second and third owner of this car. Yes, sir. Because <laughs> he loved it so much. Type R 44331, if you ever get it. Yep. So, hopefully, he's getting a new one, and it, he already chose, what is it, Rally Red? Yes, sir, same so, color. Same color. And uh, once he gets it, we're going to go ahead and do, like, another drive. And we'll see, like, what the differences are. Uh, and kind of feel for ourselves, like, that get on the ground level for that, that new Type R experience. So, can't wait. Uh, this is a great car. The new one, I've heard a lot of good things. It's also a great car. So, can't wait to test it out for myself. But that's going to do it for this one. And hopefully, that next video will be coming within a week or two of the new type r here's hoping yep hoping because every week they keep pushing it back yes sir. next week's thanksgiving for reference so hopefully the truckers are are not they don't stop driving so they can get he can get his uh type r in in there they're the real heroes <laughs> all right so we'll see you guys next time res out